Remember when Samsung mentioned they'd be coming out with foldable phones and everyone thought that was the craziest thing they ever heard? Well, prepare to have your mind blown as Samsung is now potentially looking at releasing fully transparent phones. Now, the idea of see through phones isn't so crazy as numerous companies have attempted and failed at creating such an eye catching piece of technology. But none of those companies were Samsung, who is one of the leaders in technology development. After patents were filed back in January but only surfaced in August, sources online have started speculating what all this means. Dutch tech blog Let's Go Digital were the first to notice the patents, and they even designed a really cool looking mock up of what a potential see through phone could look like. Although nothing is official, this could be the start of what's to come, and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it right now in IO. What's happening, everyone? Jared Bronstein in studio with you today, and if you're a Samsung fan, well, this will be music to your ears. Even Apple users will find this cool, but they'll likely leave a comment about how the camera will suck. Anyways, make sure you guys stick around to the end of this one for some comment replies from another video, but for now, let's get right into it. So the idea of a transparent phone is pretty wild. The way it would work, or so sources believe, is that each of the phone's display pixels would have to allow light to pass through. The outer edges of the phone would still be opaque, but it seems if someone were to be on their phone and you looked at the back side of their phone, you'd be able to see everything going on. For example, I'll just show you real quick, if I was on my phone like this, you guys would be able to see through. You'd be able to see what's on my screen, I guess, just backwards. You know, it would likely be backwards, assuming you were viewing the phone like from the bottom, or I guess the back side, but hey, it's still cool to me. Now, the idea of a see-through phone isn't so crazy, as I previously mentioned. Companies have tried this before. LG debuted the Crystal or the LG GD900, which was one of those phones that you would slide up to use the keyboard. You know, it was like a little slide and the keyboard would come out. The entire phone wasn't transparent, but the keyboard was, and it didn't really make that much of a difference. I didn't even know that phone existed until now, so it goes to show you how well they marketed it. <laughs> There is also the Sony Ericsson Xperia Pureness, which was the opposite of the LG phone, in the sense that the bottom keyboard was opaque, but the screen up top was transparent. This phone didn't do too well either. Does that mean that Samsung's attempt at a transparent phone will be a failure? Not necessarily, but when you think about it, why would someone need a transparent phone aside from the fact that it would look cool? Another interesting factor that AndroidAuthority.com mentions, the battery and other technical aspects of the phone would need to be hidden somewhere or transparent as well, which is a whole other problem in itself. Polytron Technologies attempted to make a transparent phone as well, and they actually did it, but to no surprise, things like the battery and the SD card were still visible. So it just, I won't lie guys, it looked awful. I don't even know who would want that in their pocket. It was just a see-through, it was like a piece of glass, you can see like a little black square, which is the SD card, and then a big battery. It just looked like <laughs> Now it is important to keep in mind just because Samsung has patented this idea doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be releasing transparent phones anytime soon. In fact, they may not release a transparent phone at all. This could simply just be a test, if you will, to see if it's possible and profitable for the company. And if Samsung does have their sights set on developing a completely transparent phone, I wouldn't expect it to come out anytime soon, as the patent is usually one of the first steps to what would be hundreds of steps in developing a new piece of technology. For the time being, I'll be sticking with my iPhone as I am most definitely Team Apple, at least for phones. But now, I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys Team Apple or Team Samsung? And would you have any interest at all in purchasing a transparent phone? I think the idea would be cool. If you think about it, it's like, that's pretty cool. But practically, it's kind of useless. You know, like, if you're on the phone with somebody, are you doing one of those fake calls? You're like, oh, sorry, let me just get this real quick. Hey, yeah, hi. And they see that you're not on a phone call. They'll be like, you're not on the phone. So it's just... You can never pull that trick. Not that I ever really do, but you still can if you want to. Anyways, guys, for now, let's put out some comments from the video. Top 10 celebrities you didn't know are twins. Panda Harris said, I've been trying to see photos of Vin Diesel's brother forever. This is the first time I got to see what he looks like. Thanks, Jared. Don't thank me. Thank Vin, because he put it on his Instagram. And of course, thank the editors, or the editor that did that specific video, because they included that. I was just the guy that wrote the script, stood here looking like a big old dummy, and did Things like that. Trees Beards Home said, Jared thanking Sean for getting him interested in acting is so awesome. Wish you massive success, man. Yeah, I mean, it was, look, that wasn't like the defining moment of like, I wanna be an actor now, but it was just like, I was like, wow, that guy was so cool. Like, I would love to just do what he did. And, I, you know, I thought it was a cool feeling, but funny enough, guys, hey, I really appreciate that comment. I was actually on set the other day for, for a TV movie, which I can't say too much about, but if you guys are into those lovey Hallmark Christmas movies, I got a little part in one, so. I'll be sure to let you guys know on Instagram if you follow me and I'll just promote the out of it when I find it, whenever that is. Thomas Park said, so Jimmy Olsen in Smallville and Bobby Drake from X-Men are different people? Yes, they are. When I looked at them, I was like, they are 100% identical. I don't know if they're actually identical, but they look 100% identical and I was like, this is insane. Also, I didn't include the comments, but a lot of you guys were like, if you're a fan of Good Charlotte, you know the Madden twins were brothers and twins, and I was kind of like, should I include them, should I not? It was one of those things that I when, I, when I did it, I was like, 
I totally forgot they were twins. It's not that I didn't know, it's that I forgot. So it was more I included them just to kind of remind you guys. Take it for what it is. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Just doing some weird things now. So we're all done here. Gonna wrap this one up and just gonna cut that one off. So, all right, bye.